With a flooded lead acid battery, you can actually check the chemistry using a hydrometer. And with single point watering systems like we have nowadays, this has become a feature benefit for a flooded lead acid battery. Because over 90% of the time when you have trouble with your battery, it's because it's undercharged. You can charge it, you can put a load test on it, but the only way to really check the level of charge, the state of charge, is to use a hydrometer. That is now a benefit because most of the time the problem is undercharging. Now to check the state of charge of a flooded lead acid battery, the very best way to do it is to use a hydrometer. We use discharge testers where we can and other forms of charging including load testing. But nevertheless, the most important and best way to check the state of charge is to check the chemistry of the fluid inside the battery. Now the basic steps in checking the specific gravity of the battery is to make sure that the battery is as fully charged as possible before you start. You want to remove the battery cap, of course paying attention to all the safety equipment, I don't have that on right now, but what you're going to do is take the hydrometer, stick it straight down in the cell, get some fluid, draw it in, squirt it out, draw it in, let it settle, and then take a reading. This particular battery is 1265. You want to write that down, 1265. If you have a discharge battery or if you don't have a chance to charge it and you just want to check the state of charge when it's discharged, do the same thing, but write the number down. It'll be a lower value, because in the case of a lower value of a discharge battery, the chemicals inside the fluid are inside the plates. Now, when those materials are inside the plates, the density of the chemistry inside the water, go, the, the acid goes down, so the specific gravity reading will be lower when the battery is discharged. When it's fully charged, the chemicals come out of the plates, mix with the fluid, and the specific gravity goes up. That's basically how it works. We've talked about basic safety, gloves, protective equipment, good ventilation in your area, and then when you check with your hydrometer, be sure and write your readings down, because as you charge and recheck, the gravity readings should come up, especially if the battery was discharged. Now, if you're checking the battery and the specific gravity is low and you've checked our charts at usbattery.com and you can see that the cells are low specific gravity and charging doesn't fix it, that means that that battery is probably sulfated and has some damage internally. So you want to be able to check and see if the specific gravity is growing. If it's growing, then it's charging. When it stops growing and if it's in the range where we want it, 1265 to 1280, then good deal, you got a fully charged battery.